Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, please go ahead and subscribe and activate those notifications by clicking on the bell icon below. So we're going to do a, another Pablo Picasso tutorial. If you've been to this channel before, you know that I'm obsessed with Pablo Picasso. Today we're going to do this one right here. Well, let me put it on the screen. So Pablo Picasso, the Spanish artist, painted this painting in September 20th, 1956, titled Man with a Striped Shirt. And if you're familiar with Picasso's work, you'll know that the striped shirt was a recurring theme in his work. Let me show you some of his paintings with these stripes. So a little bit of back history on the striped shirts. They're actually called the Britain Striped Shirt and these were created. This shirt or sweater was worn or was first worn by the French Navy in 1858. It had 21 stripes, 21 white stripes and 21 blue stripes. Why 21? I still don't know. And this one's a knockoff and it doesn't have 21, it has 8. <laughs> so in 1917, Chanel decided to release the shirts and then they started becoming a trend. And of course, Pablo Picasso loved this shirt and I think Pablo Picasso in my mind was the one who was like put that trend on the map. He was like uh, the influencer of the time. After that even Andy Warhol wore them. It was like the the must-have item of that era. So we're gonna draw you know this painting is gonna be super easy. I liked it and I picked it because of the stripes because I also like you know my favorite color is blue and I love pattern and I think that maybe is why Picasso incorporated because it was a pattern and he used a lot of patterns so in my head that's why he used it and because he loved the shirt. So but I don't know if he started wearing the shirt and then started painting it or started painting it and then started wearing the shirt. But anyway get your pencils and let's get started. The first thing we're gonna start with the face and we're gonna start by drawing the letter U and there's a U. The good thing about Picasso is like, there's really no messing up. Kind of everything goes. And then the hair. I don't know what this is. It might be his ear. So I'll backwards letter C. I think I did this too small. It should be like larger because there's an ear inside. Another letter C. And then an I right here. Smiley face, and then you make a sad face, and then a circle inside. The eyebrow is like a sideways letter T. This one, almost like a T, but it goes down. And then for this eye, you're going to do two parallel lines and the circle for the eye. The nose connects to this eye, you come down, and then there's two holes for the nostrils, the mouth, and then the chin goes here. And then there's like a beard and a lot of like black spots, I guess that's simulating the beard. So you can add or not add the beard or add as much or not. There's like a five o'clock shadow here. So all of this would be black. And then you just, two more parallel lines for the neck. Close these off. A line here. And I think this right here is like a greater than or less than symbol. Or like the collarbones and there's like little lines. So right here is a chair. So we're gonna draw a circle right here. So then, the chair, there's a line here, and then it has like three bars. So that would be the first one. One, two here. And this is the third one, but it's not complete, so go about halfway. Up here is the arm. And then bring this line down. I don't want black for the blue line, so I'm going to switch over to a blue marker. So then there's one, two, three, four lines. So 
So that'd be one. That's two, three, and four. And then, you know, we're gonna color them in later. And also his hand, it looks like it's drawn in blue, so I'm gonna continue. So there's a, oops, but I did this black. Oh well, we'll just do the hand blue. Oh, and then connect this to here. And the hand has one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I guess this is a line for the nails, but I only see one. And then this right here, rectangle, that's going to be all blue. There's a blue stripe right here. In here will be a black one, and then there's another blue one. We're going to kind of repeat this shape right here. This is going to be the other hand. Close it up, and then they have four fingers. One, two, three, four. And then it has little circles for the nails. And then this is like separating the arm from the shirt. Close off the shirt. And I guess this part of the chair right here, there's like a triangular shape. with three stripes, black ones, this way, and then three down this way. You know, if I'm going to fast pause it or slow me down. And then I guess from the second finger, there's another horizontal line. I mean, parallel to that one. And then this one goes down straight. There's a line right here. All this will be black. There's some type of green. Oh, and I almost forgot the stripes in here. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there you have it, that was super easy, super quick. Obviously you can take as many creative or artistic liberties as you want. I'm gonna come back and retrace some of this stuff to make the lines thicker and, and bold and add the blue and stuff. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So now I'm done, you know, I used uh, three different colors of blue, and then I, drew, I used, and I used black acrylic paint and then green acrylic paint. It's very simple, super easy to do, and like I said, you can take as many creative liberties as you want. I didn't saturate the color with paint because just, it's, this is really cheap paper and it gets like wet and stuck, so I just did enough so you could get the gist or the, an idea of what it would look like look like with color but anyway that's all for today's video let me know what you thought about it uh leave me your comments below please make sure to check out all the other content in my channel that's it for today until next time adios y bye